Question number 23 on page 98 says, we have an a angle in standard position with a radius of 12. So it looks like this in the diagram. And we have an angle theta. And we want to know how x, y, sine, cos, and tan change as that angle theta increases from 0 degrees at horizontal to 90 degrees at vertical. So the first thing is, it's important to rec understand that x, the x positioning goes with the cosine ratio. Those two go together. Okay, so when we talk about cos, we should immediately think about x, the x position, the horizontal position. And when we think of x or horizontal, we should be thinking cosine. The same thing happens with y. y is vertical, sine is also vertical. So whatever's happening to y is happening to sine. And then tan should be thought of as slope. So if we think of what's happening with the x position and the cosine ratio, as the angle increases from 0 to 90 degrees, that x positioning is going to go from right to left. So it's going to decrease. Okay, so the x position, x and cosine decrease. Okay, they decrease from 12 to 0. So it's going to start off at 12 somewhere over here. And as we rotate around, the x positioning is decreasing. So for y then, the y, and again, this relates to sine ratio, which is also related to sine, the y positioning. We're going to go from 0 or vertically all the way up to 12 as we go from 0 to zero to 90 degrees so it is increasing in that quadrant and then for tan as we increase that angle the slope is going to increase so we're going to the tan increases and the which the slope the ratio of y to x since x y is increasing x is decreasing we know that the slope should also increase